Well, let me bring you up to speed a little bit. I had a batch of real heavy rain come through here and uh, it was too loud under the carport here to do any filming. So I've already gone ahead and I've marked out my locations for my additional supports for the truss. I just went basically 24 inches, 12 inches here, 24 inches there, just on 12 inch centers out from the center of the cradle itself. I went ahead, measured and cut and tack welded three of these supports into place and I just have this fourth one that I need to tack weld into place. So we'll get started on that and uh, then we'll weld these in. All right, all these little truss braces, they're finished up. So we just have to put the lifting eyes, the little D-rings that I've got, we'll put those in place. And that'll be the last little bit of fabrication we have to do on this. Okay, last little bit of fabrication on this. Here's the little D-ring that I have that I'm gonna set right here on the end. Now what it is, it's a D-ring anchor. Comes with these little flat pieces right here. All I want is just the D-ring part. So what I'm actually gonna do is in the tube on either side, 180 degrees apart, I'm gonna drill a half inch hole. That's uh, basically the diameter of this D-ring, of the material. Drill a half inch hole on this side, drill a half inch hole on this side, take the cutting disc on the angle grinder, basically make a slot. And then this D-ring is gonna slide in there. And I'm gonna weld all the way around it. And lastly, I'm gonna make a two part cap. There's gonna be uh, basically a third on this side and a third on the bottom so that I have a slit in the middle that I can put some weld in there so that I get as much weld coverage uh, on this D-ring as I can because this is this is where it gets lifted from. So let me get the drill out, we'll pop some holes in there and then we'll get these welded in place.
Okay, well fabrication is fully done. I've got both D-rings, D-shackles welded in place. I did a little bit of grinding. I did some up here just because this is an area that somebody might grab onto. Uh, and then just kind of rounded off some of these areas right in here. So I got it suspended from the carport here because I'm going to throw some paint on it. But as you can tell in the background, it's wet and it's humid out here. So the painting conditions are certainly not ideal. But my customer wants this for this weekend. And the weather guessers are calling for rain all this week and this weekend. So uh, it's just going to get have to get painted in the rain. So I'll get some paint on this. Hopefully I can get some footage of uh, installing this at the dock. And if I do, I'll certainly uh, put that in. So let me get some paint on here and uh, then we'll move on. Okay, one last thing we got to do to these cradles before we take them to the dock. I mentioned earlier in the video that we're uh, going to be adding some 2x6 material to go between the two metal cradles. So I've got that in place. Uh, for one, it's designed as a bit of a step. So if, if my customer has the, his sailboat lifted out of the water and he left his cooler in there or left his phone in there or whatever, he's got something to step on so he, he can reach into the boat, grab what he needs, uh, and then step off. But primarily what these are used for is to tie the two uh, cradles together so that we don't have two that are kind of independent of each other when he's trying to load his boat. These will keep them connected so that it's kind of one unit. Now, it's still suspended from cable, so it, it, it can swing a little bit, but it's at least going to swing uh, in sync. It's not going to be too, he's not going to be having to battle uh, two separate cradles and get two separate things lined up. So, all we got to do, we've already drilled the holes in the metal. We just got to come under here, trace our holes take them off and go drill them out all right so I got all the holes marked I'm just gonna use a half inch paddle bit now I know it's probably gonna blow out the bottom uh, when I drill through these paddle bits uh, have a tendency to do that but they're really quick and they make a good hole and I'm not building fine furniture here I did get hardware uh, earlier in the video I was saying I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get 5 16 or 3 8 well I did get 3 8 inch hardware and I, if you remember I drilled the holes in the metal cradle half inch and like I just showed you I'm gonna be drilling these at half inch as well just for clearance because when this thing's when we get the cradles hanging from their pulleys they're kind of want to sway and move back and forth having some clearance in our holes just makes it a little easier uh, to get our bolts in place so we'll drill this out then we'll mount these up all right so now the boat lift is fully finished and ready uh, to get installed at the dock. I mentioned earlier that we were done with fabrication and stuff, and we were we're done with the welding and the metal fabrication. But I did have to add these last uh, these two uh, two by sixes here. So now it's officially done. I just kind of bolted it together loosely, hanging it here from the carport, doing a dry fit, test it out before I take it out to the dock, and I'm really trying to manhandle it around. So I just got the hardware loose on there. I didn't tighten it down. Just wanted to make sure everything fit. All right, so next thing we gotta do is just take it to the dock and uh, install everything. So I'll strap my GoPro on for that. Hopefully I can get footage of that. I'm gonna take it with me and uh, we'll get this thing installed.